Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I did a video, um, maybe last week, week before, on um, doing abstract art for beginners, and somebody reported it as a, uh, a copyright violation or something. I don't know, and they took it down. So, I apparently, I, I guess I have a few, I mean, I'm almost at a thousand videos, so I guess when I went to look after they sent me it again, there are uh, a few videos that uh, YouTube holds. Um, so I just figured I would do it again. I don't know what the copyright, they said there was music, I talked in it, but maybe I sang a song, I don't know. I think people can be mean. So what we're going to do today is a very quick and easy uh, abstract kind of painting that can go, this is just a piece of paper. You could put it in your art journal. You could put it on a piece of printer paper, whatever you want. Um, a lot of you had written me. That's how I knew it was taken off because I guess a couple of you had watched it. And uh, when you went back to look for it, it was gone. So I went and looked at it, looked for it. There we are. Here we are. Okay. So just a piece of paper, whatever kind of paper that you have. Let me see if I can get a little better lighting there. And I have some tape. Now you can use masking tape. You can use painter's tape. That's what this is. Whatever you have. If you have washi tape, maybe that you don't use quite a bit, you can use that. So all I'm going to do, we're just going to tape off some areas. And I, I take the tape and then I'll put it on my pants and I'll tape it down and rip it off once just to get some of the stickiness off. And what I'm going to start doing is just Laying it down. And obviously there's a little bit of dog hair on my, uh, there we go. Because my doggies. And make them as big or as little as you want. We're just doing spaces. And we'll make sure that the tape's down fully once we get everything on here. So it's very, very simple uh, because there's no rules. You just kind of put it wherever you want. Now I want, I'm not going to lift the tape up to change colors. So um, this will be the last piece I put right here. Well, that I'm going to do right here. And then we'll do maybe just one randomly down here. And then what you'd go do is we're going to do a, um, all similar colors. Okay. Like all colors that kind of go together. So what I picked out are blues. So I have some dark blues and light blues. I got a little bit of purple in there. It's a light blue violet. I have a little bit of metallic because why not? And another blue and another blue. So I don't know what colors I'm really going to use, but I pulled out a bunch of blues and then I pulled out a white. So first I know I'm going to start with uh, a light, the lightest color. So I'm going to put the uh, darker ones away over here. That one's a light one. And these two are light. Now they look very similar uh, in color. Obviously this one's lighter, so we'll start with this one. Um, and we're just gonna start. Now I, I like to take the end of my paintbrush when I put tape down and I'm just gonna go uh, kind of over the edges a little bit. I don't necessarily care if, um, there's really straight edges on this because I'm just playing, but you definitely can go and use your brayer or whatever. So you have, and you also can go, if you see here, let's see if I can get this in here, how the tape is kind of torn at the end right here. It's got some that you can do that with, uh, and cut it with, uh, decorative scissors or tear all of them like that. Cause it just adds a little bit more something, something turn it any way you want to do it. And, um, let's get going. All right. That's a fuzzy and let's go. Tape. Can't, I can't wax my eyebrows with it, but it sticks onto everything, doesn't it? I mean, everything sticks on it. Okay. I don't know what I was saying. Let's move on. So I'm just taking some blue. I'm going to use, um, not just sewing. You can, if you want, I don't. And, um, I just have a big brush. You can use a foam brush. You know the great foam brushes that they have? Don't think I have any right here, but you definitely can use that. And I'm just gonna squirt into areas like that. And I'm just gonna paint around. And you want to 
fairly big. You don't, I mean, you don't have to go all the way up and, and do in the lines. We're just adding. Make sure you go to the edges so you don't have to worry about that next time, uh, you know, or when you're done to go back and have to do that. And then we'll do some up this way. And I'll take it over the tape because when we take that off, it's going to be white. And it'll probably get covered in the meantime, but it's no big deal. So you can see just very simple. I don't know why people report YouTube channels. But I had to uh, put in a uh, answer or whatever, so I did. But figured I'm just going to do this. And if it comes back on, it comes back on. I'm not going to fight about it. Okay. So there we have that blue. Now, should you or shouldn't you um, wash your brush off? I'm probably going to. I'm going to move my phone because <laughs> I'll end up with Lord only knows what all over my phone and then wonder why it's not working like I do all the time because I spill everything on it. All right. So let's, I did my brush. You don't have to dry it all the way. Now I'm going to do uh, a little bit of this color, which is just a uh, cool blue and do a little, maybe I'll do a little squirt this way and bring it that way. You can see it has a, just the littlest bit of uh difference in the color and I'll bring it up to that just kind of lightly feather it in so it you know blends in with that and then a little bit right here All right, you see we're building our base up. Very, very good. Rinse again. Wipe it off with a paper towel or your art rag. And then let's go, let's go a little uh, darker. Let's go with the cobalt blue. And I'm actually going to do a little bit in there. Um, might do a little bit there and let's see where we go. And I'm only doing a little bit right now. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to do this first because I know this is a little bit wet still. So I'm not going to get that pure blue if it's still really wet. So you can see I'm just, and that wetness from my brush, I don't dry it all the way, but it helps spread it. And it'll also help kind of blend it in here. And then I just kind of blend it. Now let me show you what Gesso will do. You see this right here, how it looks, it has a, no, I don't care because we're doing acrylic, but I mean, uh, uh, not acrylic, <laughs> so sorry. You know, we're doing it so uh, it looks like a uh, different colors and all, and then you can go on and doodle and everything when you're done. But if you would have, if I would have Gessoed this, then this would have been a little bit of a better, cleaner edge. When I put it on, it wouldn't have soaked in to the base, which it did, but I'm okay with that. And on here, I'm going to go around in a circle. Just very, and I don't want to blend it in. I want that color to show through. So I'm just kind of adding some, and I'm holding the brush up higher, no matter what size brush. I'm just going to go in circles and kind of leave like that, leave that like that. Hello, medicine today. And uh, you can see it, it gives it like a little bit of movement and that's kind of what you want. And then I'm just going to kind of clean my brush off and just, just some brush strokes. And it just adds a really nice movement to it. So let me see if you can see that a little better. So once it's dry, it'll look very, very good. Okay. So now let's do another color. So I think I'm going to go in with, let's see, here's that color, which is sterling blue. So I'll, maybe I'll do this one first because it should be a little gray and I'm okay with the gray going in here because we want, you know, that kind of thing. And yep, it is. Can you see it's a gray color. 
So I'm going to take my brush and dip it in there. Yeah, it's going to look good. And then I'll clean up my brush right here. Okay, on the paper. And then I'll take my bigger brush and, and you might need more, put more on it. But because I, like I said, I didn't just so, which I don't care at this moment, but it'll soak in a little faster. But really just, you can wet your brush a little bit. I leave a little bit of water on my brush when I clean it off. But see how we're adding, you know, we're just kind of pushing it around and blending it a bit into the others. That's a nice color. I like that color. And we'll do it again up here. And put more, put a little bit more paint on my brush. So ultimately this will be a mixed media piece, but it'll be abstract. Okay. See how we get those great colors? All right. Then I'm going to try a little bit of the purple. This is the or light blue violet, rather. It's not purple. It's light blue violet. And what this is doing also is it's letting me see the colors. So when I go back over and take the tape off and do whatever I'm going to do, uh, it has, you know, I kind of am aware of what color they come out because sometimes they just don't, uh, you know, you, you don't really know. So you see, I'm just kind of, and that's a nice color. And I'm doing the brush like this, see? Just like I'm scrubbing like a floor, <laughs> I guess, on the hands and knees with the rag. I mean, I don't do that often, but I used to. I know more. Take three days for me to get back up off the floor. Um, yeah. Okay, so you can see we're starting now. We got this great uh, color down. We got this great little uh, piece right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to take, take the tape off and I'm not going to save it. You can, if you want, but in this instance, I'm not, if I was sitting here doing it myself, you know, if I wasn't recording, I probably would save it. And let me, sh let me show you one thing. If you have a hair dryer, or you have a, um, heat gun, let me show you. An easy way to help lift off that tape. Now this tape, like I said, it's painter's tape, so it's really not meant to uh, be that sticky, but it's still tape, so it's going to be a little sticky. You can heat up, and in the process, you're drawing your background, right? Hold it on the tape that you want to pick up. And then go in. And lift it up. And you can put more on there, but it loosens it up enough that it just comes right off. Okay. So that's another tip for you. Okay. Sometimes it's very satisfying to pull tape off. I don't know. It's like picking glue off your fingers. If I'm not the only weirdo out there, maybe I am, but it's okay. And like I said, you can save your tape and do the next part. I'm just not going to. Is that wasteful? Yes. Today I'm wasteful. Today's the day that uh, nobody wants to see me out in public and make me angry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. So you see, now we have that white underneath. Now here's where you can decide. Do you want to, you, if you're doing this in your art journal, think about before you put the tape down. If you're doing this in your art journal, you can keep stripes going this way. When you take it off, then you have, you can write, you can journal. Um, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take the more tape. And what I'm going to do is tape off more areas. And these are going to be smaller pieces because I want it to be 
it all over. This is just fun. This, this is stuff I love when you don't have to think. You just kind of play. I mean, you just can't get mad at uh, having fun and throwing paint and tape down, can you? I'm sure if people, there are people out there who can, but if you're just starting out and you want to make some art in your art journal or you want to do a painting and, you know, you want to tip your little, put your little tippy toes in there. I don't know. Tippy toes, whatever the heck they're called. Feet. <laughs> uh, this is fun. So you can also take your tape and rip it like that. Okay. And run it that way. So, I mean, think, really, think outside of what I'm doing, The uh, how you could do it. You could rip it with, uh, cut it with decorative scissors and get all those cool ends. All right. So I know I really love this, and I really don't want to go over it too much. So I'll probably stay away from it. But on the outside there, now I'm going to put just some tape. If you want to keep certain colors, not that we're going to take all the color off, but you can see it's a little bit more tape than last time. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to push all that down just because it helps not seep too much. And I'm going to take my metallic color. This is just called Metallic Blue Pearl. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to hit that in some of the white here. Okay. All right. And I'm just dipping my brush off a little bit. And I'm just going to go for it. And it's okay if it goes on the out, you know, on the other colors. You want to really concentrate on that white, though. Now I can see I might need two coats of this blue on the white, we'll see. And then you can just take it over that way. Just know wherever you put it, you know, it's gonna make it a little shiny. I don't really care about that. Now look, let me put you in here for a second. Where is there a good one? All right, this one right here. I'm going to take my brush and you can see there's a little bit of paint on there and I'm going to pull it towards that tape. And can you see it's holding that extra paint so I can take it off there and just keep. So when I pull this up, all the little raggedy edges that I tore, it's going to have texture because that paint's going to, it's going to be a little darker. It's going to add a little something, something. And you can do that with a darker color too. Let's take a little bit of the dark blue and do it. I want a couple of them too. I'm just going to put a little bloop right there. And move it down like this. I'll do these two up here. Just putting a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to tap a little bit off there just so it's not so much. And very, very lightly. See how that's building up? You can see the darkness around it. Just giving it some, some texture. And that's what you want. And do it the other way. Now, if you really want to be very uh, fancy, you can take a, another brush or you could take, you know, your art rag or a paper towel, whatever you're using, and go and wipe around it so it blends in the background a little bit more. But don't touch that part because when we take that tape off, it's going to be, it's going to look good. Good, good, good. So a little bit more. And a little bit more. All right, just on those edges. And then I'll go and wipe and blend that in just a little bit more, staying away from taking it off of there. And then you can go, you know, you could do it there. You could do it wherever you want. I'm going to do it down here, I think. Well, let me move back. And you can see, see how I'm just pulling it towards it this way? And that's going to build up a lot of cool texture there. And then you can just blend this back in or have another brush or wipe it off, whatever. It's just really making those edges stick out. And that's what I want. What I really, really want. All right. All right. So I'm going to turn this. Because you want to turn when you're doing this, you get different views of what you're doing. Different angles. 
I'm just going to rub it, run it, rub it, whatever. I'm going to do it here. And you could do other colors too. I'm just happening to do this because it's easier to see on the camera. Well, you can't see shit now because I just moved it. All right. All right, and I'll go back and wipe that off. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to, I don't want the whole thing. Now, I like these edges on here, you could see. So I'm going to do it there. Just do the edges. And can you get a lot more paint and make it much thicker? Like, for instance, here? Yeah. And you could do it real dark. See? And I'm just kind of hitting all these edges right there where I see some texture because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be some texture. I don't know why I talk like that sometimes, but I do. Okay. And then I like this. All right. Just do the one side. A little bit. And if you don't have little torn ends, don't worry about it. Just do it on any of the tape. Like if you want to do it here on this side, you know, just run it that way. Same thing. Okay, so then I'm going to put that in my water for a second. And I'm going to take my paper towel again. And I'm going to go around. Like I can see here, I don't want necessarily want this. I want it to blend. I'm not going to touch the tape. I'm just going to go around it a bit. Just to blend it a little bit more into it. It's all going to add to the finality of the painting. Like I said, this is fun to do in your art journal because it's not as big. I don't know why I chose such a big page uh, to work on. Now, this is fun because, you know, like I've, I've said before, for me, um, this is like a mixed media background page for me. Like I would, I would take my time and do this if I was doing a um, canvas, right? Um, and that kind of stuff, it just... Who's that? I don't know. Okay, I'll check out later. Sorry. All right. Okay. And you don't have to worry about what's on the tape because that'll come up when you, when you do it. All right. And I think you see. And if you get little splotches like I do, I just kind of, you know, you can just kind of rub it out, add it in as part of the uh, painting because it's all, we're all doing the same color. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit it with the heat gun for a second. Just to kind of dry it a little bit. And you see how that comes out. Okay. Let's do this one first. Okay. Oh yeah. You still see we still have white that we can add a color in. Like one of my favorite things to do, and I I, I did one. My favorite things to do is, I did a big painting of it upstairs, is black, white, and with a touch of red. And I don't know what color I would do with this. Let me think about it once I get all the tape off. Oh, I love that. I don't know if you guys, I'll lift it up when I'm done. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I love that. That I love. I'll lift it up so you can see it better. Get down with your bad self.
What'd you do all day? I watched Kelly uh, peel tape off the pieces I'm hanging from her. Oh, that sounds so exciting. Like watching paint dry. <laughs> That's kind of what I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Well, let me lift this up. Look how it's coming together. Now, now look. Let me see if I can find a real good one. This one over here. Look. See how that gathered? So once that's fully dry, then we can put more. So you can see, and I just turned it the other way now, right? So that everything's at a different angle. So I can see it at a different angle. Um, but look how it's becoming that abstract, right? So really, we use tape and paper and paint. I mean, not too, not real bad. We just use some colors. Um, now I got to decide what I'm going to do as far as these go. Do I want to stick? No, I need to do something here because that's driving me nuts. So, because it's the only piece, the only part, excuse me, the only part that isn't, um, it doesn't have a variety of color. So I'm going to start there because it's an issue for me. And Lord knows Kelly doesn't need no more issues. I think I got my fill. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Um... Then we'll do one coming over this way. And then I think I'll do one here. And it's okay. My tape kind of bubbled there. It's all right. I ain't going to do nothing. Now I want to decide what I want to do in here. But what color would we put with blue that would, I mean, orange would be a nice color, but I don't necessarily want to do orange. But you know what color I do want to do? Because I'm all about pink. I know. Pink, pink, pink. Hmm. I think, oh, Kelly, 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 pink, pink, pink. I know I'm talking to myself because I'm trying to think pink. Get it? I want, okay. Oh, the fun things you can do right now. You could take some uh, molding paste, right? And just put it in these and, and just different parts to add texture. Matter of fact, why don't we? I'm going to try to edit this on my editor, on my uh, movie maker to see if, me pulling tape off now I could follow it through. If not, bless your hearts if you guys are still watching. Um, I'm going to have to start. Uh, all right, I just put some on my finger and I'm just putting it in here. I'm sticking it, staying in the white. But uh, I'm going to have to start doing giveaways for uh, small little giveaways for people watching all the way through my videos. I don't know if I could make a six minute video or a seven, you know, whatever they say is the best kind of video to make to get more subscribers. I really don't. I mean, I like, let me tell you, I like when I, cause I'm almost at 15,000. So I love that. That makes me very happy, but uh, that's not why I do it. You know, I just love people. I'm a people person. I love it. I drive Dave and Emily nuts. Cause I talk to everybody. I must have a face. I, I don't know how, but I must have a face that people, when they see me, they're like, oh, I could talk to her. They tell me about things that, uh, I don't know. You just wouldn't tell a stranger, I guess, but that's what the people do. And I love it because I just am a people part. I just love helping people and I love, you know, anyway, what's my point? My point is, is that, um, oh, see how we did that? Very simple and easy. Look, use your gesso if you have it or even, you know, whatever you have. I've told you guys how to make gesso a million times. Uh, got a lot of requests for that lately. So I'm going to probably tag. Um, I'm probably going to put it on the end of one of my videos, like the link so y'all can check. Cause I, I don't know how many times I've done those videos. I don't mind, but they get, you know, for a lot of you that's been with me, it's hard. You got to like redo comp, like redo stuff when you get more. And my numbers have grown so much. You know, I, I like doing for people. Anyway, um, I don't know what my point was. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I'm just drawing already. I'm just drawing this just a little bit. Because that's just going to add a little texture to it. And that's, texture is always a good thing. It's a good thing. Let me put that go for a second. Now, I want to look because I don't know what... I kind of like it like this. Now, you can see, like, it's shiny and, like, that metallic one on here. But I might, I might 
I don't know. I might uh, doodle on here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I might just leave it the way it is. But what I am going to do right now is take some magenta. And this is my Dilutions that's like cottage cheese. Delish. And I'm going to take a paintbrush. And I'm going to go into, and you use whatever color you want. And I'm just going to go in. And it's like painting. It's like uh, coloring. Stay in the lines. If you want. If you don't want to stay in the lines, by all means, don't. And you could do these all different colors if you want. I can't even sing it again if you really, really want. Now I would probably, I probably will rather go in and outline some of the pink, but who knows. Now with everything else, uh, as far as, you know, learning how to do anything, you watch something and you put your own spin on it. You think, you know what? I don't want to use tape. I'm going to do it this way. Or I don't want to use those colors. I'm going to use these colors or whatever. I don't want to use this. I want to do that. And you make it your own. That's the great thing about so many artists on YouTube. You know, you can really watch them and pick and choose parts that you want to use. Um, I am a rhyming fool today. I should have been in the Beastie Boys. Um, I don't know if you guys know who the Beastie Boys are, but... One of my faves. So, um, you know, you get to pick and choose kind of what you want to do. And when you turn it, you also see, especially if you're using a texture, you can see uh, where you might have missed on it. And you don't need to be perfect because it's all that texture and that's what you want. I still have that tape there, so I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with that. But for now, I'm just going to do this. I might even, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might add some more gray, because I really like that gray. Okay. Like I said, I'm probably going to outline these. And you can cut them off. You don't have to make it uh, crooked like the uh, tape. I just wanted to add a little bit of that in. Probably going to do glitter on that too at the end. Who knows? Okay. Now, I'm looking at it. And what color? What about... Maybe we'll do a little... A little white. Let's just see what it does. I'm not going to do too much white, but let's see what it does. How about if I use, if we use some sort of texture, like a scruffy brush, right? I'm just going to put that in my white paint like that and just kind of not make it so covered. Now you can see I went in the pink a little bit. That's all right. I'll just tap it. And it'll just blend right there. But I don't need to for it to be so white that uh, I just want to kind of give it a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? And a little bit of this. And I know I'm picking up a little of the pink, but I don't care because it's going to carry through. You know? And like I said, these I might even white out with white too. a little, Just a little bit to take them towards the back more. Um, who knows? All right. And I'm just going to take up the rest there. And I'm just going to kind of randomly... And that's the white and the pink, and that's okay. I might even do one here just a little bit. See how we're just making it random? Think of it as snow. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Dry it for a minute.
Okay. Oh, all right. I'm gonna peel it off. Peel it off. Peel it off. Oh, I bet you Dion knows that song. Uh, I don't know if she's watching, but not, that's not the words of it. But she's like my soul sister with the music. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now you can see there's no form really from like here it is and that's completely fine. But like over here, it's just like kind of splattered everywhere, but it's, oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Go on, go on to God. And can you see why I think it's like a mixed media background, right? Yeah. All right. I'm not hating on it. I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing is I'm going to, do some more white on here just to push it back a little bit. And I'm actually, I don't want it to be fully dry because I want that pink to mix. Um, or maybe I don't. Let me let me see. Let me dry it just another second. Maybe I don't want it so wet. I don't want it to be like pink. I want it to be white, but I want a little of the pink in it, if that makes sense. So let me say... Just giving it an extra something, something. And I'll show you why I'm, I want to do the white. Because I... I'll show you this in one second. I can't talk and blow dry at the same time. Can you see, like, right here where the tape was? I love that bright white that's coming through. Now, it doesn't have to be white. It could be whatever color you want it to be. Uh, maybe I'll even mix some white with the blue. I don't know. But you can see, um, you know, what I, what I mean. Dry this off. This is my brush I just used, but I don't want that pink in it right now. I want it to make its own pink. All right, so I'm just dipping in and then tapping off and tapping off. All right, here we go. See, I'm holding it like up here and very lightly, just bar barely. And it's just going to add, I mean, obviously you still see the pink, right? But, oh yeah, I like that a lot better. See how it kind of pushes it back? My, I'm going to have to, my camera, if I have my camera on auto, auto focus, it does not work well. But when I go to show you guys the final product, but if I put it on auto focus, when I'm done to show you, I don't know why. And my camera is so old. I just don't have the money to get a new one. Um, I love my camera, but it's getting, and it's getting a little old. It's probably about, what did we figure the other day? Eight years old. I mean, it's old. Which is okay. It works. You know, it still works. I love it. It's never failed me. But Okay, so you see how I did that? And then I just added that white in there. And if you want a little more white, you know, anywhere else, it's just random. It just adds a little, I don't know. It's almost like stars or something. I don't know. Okay. I just love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So you can see, like, let me show you how this is. Look at this corner. That's from the tape. We had the tape going that way. And that's the end. And do you see how that just delicious went in there? Oh, I just love it. All right. So that is the basics of doing your, um, your uh, canvas. You know what I mean? Very, very simple. Like I said, if you, once these are dry, I'm probably going to go and outline them with a gel pen or something. Um, but I love the way this looks. I love that there's just bits of color. Um, I would probably, I wonder if I still have any, let me see. Oh, let me see. Oh, I, might be up there. I don't want green. I want blue. No blue there. 
And I thought I might have had glitter. But I do have, ooh, I have Shimmer Mister from Deco Art Media, the shiny. I think I'm going to do that. Why not? Up here. I'm going to like hold it up really high and just give it splatters. Oh, God, yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, I love it. A little bit more. Oh, I love it. I love it. That was just it for me. I know you guys probably can't see this very well. Oh, I love it. And I love the pink in it. I love the pink. And I know it's kind of hard to tell. Let me see if I can bring it up. It's kind of hard to tell. But let me see. And you can leave the pink out if you want. But just look how cool all that text. It just looks very, very textured. And again, you don't have to put the pink in if you don't like it. I like it. It just adds, I don't know, it just adds something for me. But this is it. 41 minutes, you ain't getting back. If you guys do anything like this, let me know. Uh, tag me. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, but, you know, you can still go on from here and you can um, continue adding paint and layers. Do you see how we stayed in the same colors, though, uh, basically, of all the blues and all uh, and a little bit of the white? It just it brings it together. So when you're starting out doing anything like this, like I said, this is a mixed media background for me because I love it. But it's also abstract, which is mixed media. So uh, a background. So you can really go all over the place. If you have a picture that you want to glue on or something, you definitely can do that. Um, I, I just love it the way it is. It's just, it's different for me. It's something, you know, but it's something for you guys to try. Let me show you the blue. Look how cool that looks. That's that swirly and it has some of that dark in there and the white and the spray. Oh my God. This is just delicious, delicious texture. I just want to spray it very, very clear and uh, maybe a coat of resin. I might, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I love you guys so very much. Give this a thumbs up if you guys like these tutorials of, um, you know, how to do things very, I'm, I'm trying to break them down very simply because a lot of you are starting out and uh, are new at all this stuff and it's very overwhelming and, you know, as well as money, you know, to have money to go out and buy everything. So you know, to start out, you go buy a couple of colors in the same color range if you want, or you go buy your Roy G. Biv, because I love that, in black and white, and you guys can start, you know? So you can see, very, very simple, um, with a bold statement. Um, almost looks like there's two eyes and the nose and the mouth. <laughs> love you guys. As always, be kind to each other. You never know a battle somebody else is fighting. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so very much. And thank you for being so lovely and supportive. Bye, guys.